Draw time! Heath wants to draw Mando, so today we are drawing Mando from Disney's The Mandalorian, Star Wars universe, a lot of fun. Uh, I'm looking at a reference image, but I'm not going to draw it in the same pose. I'm just going to use the reference image to know uh, what Mando looks like and what I got to add where and stuff like that. So I'm going to start with circle for a head and Mando's helmet is kind of shaped like this. I'll just do that for now. So that's just a circle kind of flanges out, comes down like that. Okay. Then what we're gonna do his body, uh, and it's kind of got this chest plate of armor. Comes down like this. Alrighty, and then I think uh, Heath wanted him to draw him using his flamethrower. So I think his flamethrower. It's hard to tell on the internet from the reference images which hand the flamethrower actually comes out of because sometimes you'll see the same image and it's flipped around. So we're going to assume that the flamethrower comes out of the left hand because in the right hand he's going to be holding his gun. So we're just going to go like this, arm, arm, just uh, like that for now. And then his left arm is going to be out. And I think the flamethrower kind of comes out of his off right here. Okay, so then uh, I'm gonna add a hand here. I'm gonna add his gun. Um, he's kind of got these. I think they're called bangles. I don't know what they're called, but uh, silver, not silver, Beskar uh, armor pieces. He's got his gun. look like this for now. There we go. Trigger on the finger. There we go. Finger on the trigger. <laughs> Maybe I've been saying words out of order. Okay, so he's got another shoulder piece like that. Um, okay. Got his arm out. Flames are going to be shooting like that. Okay, his feet. Maybe his feet come. One leg's going to be hidden there. One's going to be out like that. So it's got big Beskar plates on his top of his legs. He's got boots, kind of like that. Okay. This plate, and then this will be the fire. It looks like this is also the one where he's got those things that shoot out, though. Maybe he's got both on one arm? I don't know. Okay. So we kind of have our bag uh, outline of what we want it to look like. He's got the cape. His cape comes around like this. He's got his arm. Let's kind of flush that out a little bit. This arm over here goes like that. And he's got sort of like leather uh, bib underneath that. There's a belt that comes up like that. Okay, then he's got one over here, it kind of is a satchel for carrying stuff. Got another one over here. Oh yeah, and then he's got his dis, uh, disintegrator rifle. Um, hmm. That goes over his cape. So we'll have it pointed up this way. The reference photo I have has it pointed down, but I don't have it pointed up because why not? Okay. 
Mm, not bad. Okay. Now I gotta get some better detail on his helmet. So he's kind of got this little oval here. I think it's kind of like a clasp, actually. Straight across. There. And then he's got his visor, which is pretty high up on the helmet. I'm not sure how actually useful it would be as a real helmet. Uh, kind of opens up like this. Sort of like a Roman centurion style. Comes down here, clicks here. And it's kind of flat. Boba Fett's is just slightly different. I guess they're all kind of a little different. Okay, and then it has this arch that goes like that. And it looks like an arch that comes in like this. Okay. And <laughs> I'm going to cheat because I made his helmet. I always tend to make heads on the large side. I guess it's just a byproduct of drawing so many cartoons. You always want to make the head nice and big so that you can make the expressions really energetic uh, when you're drawing a cartoon. But when you're drawing Mando, you kind of want to keep it a little bit better proportioned. Okay, there we go. Comes down like that. And on this one, he's got all of these little ammo cartridges. Kind of go like that. Alrighty, nice. Okay. Then, I suppose, we should probably ink. And I'm going to not speed up the ink, but I will speed up the coloring. Um, before we get to the inking, though, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, tell your friends, and make fun art. Nice. And now we're back. Now we can get to inking. I always like to ink in Clip Studio using vector ink because it makes cleaning up your ink drawings really easy. Okay, so... Oops. Do a smaller... There we go. Okay, so I guess pick a place to start. I'll start here. Kind of like that. Bring that around. Alrighty. Bring it down. Okay, the visor. Actually, this angle, I guess the visor is going to go all the way to the edge of the helmet. And then it'll come down like. Show. Then it chops down, comes kind of straight up here, and attaches there. And then this is where the curves come in. And that feels the same thing on this side. Like that. Okay. Then comes more straight down. Kind of like that. Can't tell from this reference, but it looks like that's about right. If my keyboard were more accessible, I might try to find the helmet from another angle, but I got a lot of inking to do, so we'll just keep powering through. Kind of comes up. bad. Okay, now the shoulder things. I feel like there's an armor name for them too. Up like that. Okay, so there is one layer around the edge and then one layer that bumps. Nice, okay. Over here we have so, and it comes up around like that. It's got the whistling birds or whatever they're called. I always get the names wrong and all the little cool things. Just adding some details, but I think there's like 
dots along there. They shoot out of. Okay. And then we're gonna have this photo doesn't really show it, but I'm pretty sure it must come out on this side or the other side, but it's gonna shoot out like this, the fires, the, f the fires, the flames. So we'll just go like this. Whoosh. Um, straight out though, like that. Right, whoosh, 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 whoosh. We'll add more details on that later. That looks pretty good for now. Okay. So then we gotta add the arm, and the arm just looks like it's cloth fabric, so we're just gonna go like this. Make it wavy, and then we can add these little V lines that kinda signify where the fabric bunches and bustles. Mm, it's gotta go higher though. Because his elbow's up here, and this is needs to go. Gotta fix that. Okay, so this goes a little higher. Like that. And this comes like that. This elbow. That looks a little better. But now I gotta move this too. I could just do it digitally, but I might as well take the time to do it properly. By digitally, I mean it's easy just to select it and move it, but might as well redraw it. I can do a better job anyway. Excellent. His hand comes out from underneath and makes a fist on the top of his hand. He's got those plates and it comes like this. His thumb makes a fist like that. There we go. So that's one hand. Okay. Now his other shoulder comes up because he's got. Lifting his arm. Okay, the ring around. And I think this one has a rye, mud horn. Mud horn? Rye horn? Mud horn, I think. It's kind of got this little horn like this. And then it comes around like this. That's pretty, uh, pretty janky. But that's okay for now. Maybe I'll fix it later. Oops. Give me my. There we go. Okay. I think I need to make that a bit bigger. This time I'm gonna cheat. Or else this video will take forever. <laughs> nice. Okay. Now, for his forearm, it looks like. Go like this. Down, down, brings it in. Looks like there's a little bit of a slightly discolored panel there. Okay, and then of course we have the fabric. And I really think this is such a cool costume. In fact, I think it's actually cooler than the Boba Fett costume that everybody loves so much or has loved for a long time anyway. Mando! Okay. Then, thumb, it looks like they kind of have like cut off gloves with fingers that stick through. Trigger finger, cut off glove, trigger, and then the gun comes down like this. Shoots forward like that. Okay, other hand. Okay, there we go. Other finger, other finger, other finger. Just do rectangle fingers. 
because I'm lazy. Okay. So then it looks like the gun goes right, right, and then kind of comes down and then has a little bit of a, a little bit of a bump. Like this. Trigger finger needs some readjusting. squeakiest chair known to man. Okay. Then we bring that in like that. Not bad. Okay. Then we have a cape which comes down like this. neck comes like that all right might as well do the gun looks like there's a little notch here comes down out up gun attaches oh the angle's a little wrong one more time I'm gonna cheat digitally and fix the angle it's better okay it's not cheating digitally but it is something you can't do uh, just with regular paper right okay so now we gotta do the chest plate plate good comes up like that comes up over the armor over the cape I should say okay and the rest is gonna get covered up so let's do that with the strap satchel. I think this is actually a toy that I'm using as a reference. A toy drawing, like a like an image of a toy. Because it looks pretty close, but I feel like some of the details are a little, a little cartoony, which makes me think it's a toy or maybe like a digital rendering. they be called um, not a disruptor what are they called it's gonna drive me crazy a thermal detonator there we go because uh, princess Leia uses oh uh, maybe maybe not but princess Leia you know when she's rescuing Han she threatens Jabba the Hutt with thermal detonator if you haven't watched Star Wars, sorry, I just wrecked it for you. Okay, and this strap, oh, that needs to come down further. Because it looks like that's the rifle strap, and this is actually the other strap. And it comes under like this, goes around, has the ammo. Take your time, you can add more and more details, more and more of what you see, and it'll make the drawing 
more interesting to look at. Okay, then, get these leg panels. Slide around. Is my uh, Mando. I hope you had a fun time watching me draw it. Maybe you tried to follow along, that'd be kind of fun. It looks okay. I think comparing Mando to the reference image, uh, it looks like there's maybe uh, I did the helmet needs to be a little longer, the visor needs to go a little higher, and it needs to flare out a little bit more so it kind of comes to more of a peak. But, Anyway, I think there's a likeness. I think you can tell I was trying to draw Mando. That was pretty fun. 